The Feast of First Fruits celebrated the beginning of the barley harvest. On this festival, a sheaf of grain was cut from the field and then offered in thanksgiving to the Lord. Only after that could the rest of the reaping begin. It was a day that represented um, the people's hope for the future because the harvest had begun. But it was more than that. The Feast of First Fruit comes the day after the Sabbath following Passover. You see, on Passover, God's people looked for the future Redeemer to come. On the following Sabbath, a dramatic prophecy was always read in the temple. Ezekiel declared to a valley filled with dry bones, I will make breath enter you and you will come to life. God was promising far more than an earthly harvest. He was saying that he will raise the dead to life. Now imagine with me, Jesus' followers streaming into a temple on Sabbath the day after he died. Still stunned by his brutal execution, they would have listened to a vision about God's promise to bring the dead to life. And on the very next day when Jesus resurrected, it was the Feast of First Fruits. So when we offer our first fruit offering, it is with thanksgiving for what God has given to us in Jesus Christ, who is the first fruit from the resurrection. Friends, God does not need anything from us, but it is our privilege to be able to give. Psalms 50 verse 9 to 10 says, I shall take no young bull out of your house, nor male goats out of your foals. For every beast of the forest is mine, and the cattle on a thousand hills. He who offers a sacrifice of thanksgiving honors me, and to him who orders his way aright, I shall show the salvation of God. May we give with thanksgiving and by faith because of what God has done for us. Amen. Thank you.